This is a scary story which happened in 2019. Something about an experience with a young man named Kalim. This guy was a gangster who worked as a debt collector and security guard at small bars in town. Kalim was on the road that day when he got an unexpected phone call. While lighting a cigarette and talking about work, a loud noise behind him made him turn his head in surprise. A car honking loudly and travelling at high speed was speeding towards him. It seemed that the car was losing its brakes. The driver's face was panicked, however there was nothing the driver could do. Kalim did not have time to react at that time and the car rushed towards him at breakneck speed. The impact was so strong that Kalim was thrown to the side. The car's tires were all broken at that time and Kalim only saw the sky and earth darken before him. The car which hit Kalim also stopped on the side of the road. Kalim was unconscious because the impact was so strong it also tore his clothes. There was something very scary on Kalim's biceps. A fearful tattoo suddenly changed his face to become more aggressive. What was happening to Kalim? People around him quickly ran over and called for an ambulance. It was fortunate that he was not in mortal danger. Let's go back in time a bit, a day ago. In order to look cooler and individual or goofy, Kalim went to a tattoo parlor at the end of town to get himself a cool tattoo. <laughs> I've chosen a tattoo. You can do it right away. Just look at that. So cool, hey? The tattoo artist previewed the image that Kalim requested to tattoo. It was the image of the Hell King. The tattooist had warned Kalim in advance not to get that tattoo, but Kalim decided to ignore it. The tattoo artist carefully tattooed the best possible tattoo on Kalim's hand to please the customer. However, he still warned Kalim that tattooing the Hell King was taboo. He also warned him to be careful because bad luck might happen. And if he wanted to remove the tattoo, he must wait at least a week. Kalim was very satisfied with his tattoo. He felt like he was stronger and more bohemian. He just kept looking at himself in the mirror and admiring himself. Kalim didn't think the Hell King's tattoo was bad luck at all. He believed that the Hell King represented the most powerful evil things. Maybe now everyone would think he looked very cool. And of course, bad luck did happen to Kalim the very next day. Although the accident did not kill him, it definitely frightened him. Because it would take a week to remove the statue, Kalim had to ask a shaman to remove the curse from the statue. The shaman invited him to a deserted alley in town. He burned the votive paper and prayed for something. Kalim also knelt beside him, showing remorse. As soon as a week passed, he would definitely remove the tattoo and sincerely beg the Hell King to forgive his sins. The shaman then created a straw effigy with Kalim's hair. He then mumbled something that Kalim could not understand. A lot of scribbled words were also written above the dummy, which seemed to be charmed. Then the straw dummy was also thrown into the burning fire. It seemed that this was a substitute ritual to help Kalim escape his current unlucky situation. The bad luck of the day caused him to be injured. If the bad luck had lasted a week, Kalim wouldn't know what bad would happen to him. Next, the shaman told Kalim that the ritual still had an important part. The bad luck that Kalim had was partly due to the bad things that he was doing. The tattoo on Kalim's body was just punishment for him. Kalim wanted to get out of it. He had to give up the evil path he was on and find some good things to do instead. He also added that actually printing a picture of the Hell King was not a crime. The Hell King was fair. He would only punish those who were guilty or those who did not know how to repent. After hearing what the shaman said, Kalim seemed to have a vague understanding of something. The shaman continued to instruct Kalim that soon there would be an important ritual. Whether or not it would work would depend on Kalim's bravery. The shaman said to follow him through this alley. Even if Kalim heard someone's call, there would be no answer. Kalim had to ignore it and go straight forward. When the fire went out, it was time for the shaman to walk. 
Kalim also followed behind, and at this time Kalim felt very tired, his mind was hazy, and he wandered off unconsciously. The air was getting colder and the shaman was walking slowly with Kalim following behind. Neither of them said anything, making less noise. The wind started howling, scarier and scarier. At this moment, Kalim heard something. The cry sounded familiar, and he woke up. The shaman said to Kalim to calm down and go on, don't care about anything. The voices, however, brought Kalim to a halt. He felt his mind go blank. He also suddenly understood something. Memories of the past had rushed back and Kalim realized his bad luck today was the payment for the sins he had committed. He slowly turned his head looking toward the source of those familiar sounds. He was sure enough behind them, with shadows beckoning him. Kalim knew who they were and why they were there. They were the ghosts of people Kalim had killed his ex-girlfriend, his debtors, all of whom were forced to death by Kalim. He seemed to realize the sins he had committed. They were always an obsession in his head. He walked away apologetically. He understood that his bad luck did not come from the Hell King, but from the sins that he had caused to those unjust souls. Kalim was completely apologetic. He felt remorse for his actions in the past and he also wondered why he was in this mess. The shaman understood Kalim's mind. He walked away without turning back, advising Kalim to return to the path of honest business. As long as he knew how to repent, Kalim would no longer have had bad luck. He told Kalim to remove the tattoo because the king of hell never gave anyone a second chance. The ways he helped Kalim only lasted a week. It all depended on the determination and repentance the shaman also advised Kalim to get an honest job and do many good deeds, as many as possible. After listening to the shaman, Kalim expressed his gratitude for the help. However, his mood was still very heavy at the time. He asked the shaman with a tired face if the evil spirits would forgive him. The shaman could not answer this question either. A week later, Kalim went to remove the tattoo. He found a job at a supermarket, and the bad luck did not bother him anymore.